I'm full already. We're cheating this time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm shy to ask for it. Oh, I'm from Korea. Welcome back to another episode of our Paborito series. And today, we're at Malate. Malate is the official Korea town now in the Philippines. Obviously, being a Korean, I've been here many times. But being here like physically, not that many. Around like five times maybe. But mostly, I just deliver from the Korean restaurants here a lot. You know what? Maybe more than like 80% I've tried, I think, all the Korean restaurants that's here. Because I really explored if it's like authentic or not. And I stick to the ones that it's good. I see here, chukbachi, tang, many tteokbokki, baltong, bonga. Just everything I see, I've already been to. Too. The challenge today is going to be that I already have my favoritos here, but I'm gonna have to get recommendations from the people of this place at the moment. Let's see. Is it gonna recommend me the right place? <laughs> or will I get to find a new place today? So let's go ahead. Okay, okay, I'm gonna ask. Hello. Do you guys come here often in Malate? Not really. Ah, uh, it's your first time. I've been here for a couple of times. What do you come here for? For Korean. For Korean food. Yeah. So do you have any favorite Korean restaurant here that you went to for more than twice? I have been... I can't remember the name of the Korean restaurant, but it's like the Unlimited Samgyeopsal. Unlimited Samgyeopsal? Yeah. <laughs> here in Asia. Do you know the name? I forgot the name, but it's near... Is it a big Cafe one? Eso. Yeah. The one with the glass? Mm, yeah. Ah, that's Hanso Bakchang. Okay, okay. You've been there for more than twice. Yeah, more than twice. More than... Why is it your favorite there? Because there's so many Korean restaurants, Liba, right? in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Is it um, really best? Yeah, I think so. Because I've been with a lot of Korean Unlimited Barbecue mm. restaurants. And I think that's like one of the best here. The best, okay. So the food is here. To tell you guys like the difference in the K barbecue restaurants in Philippines and K barbecue restaurants in Korea, I find it better in the Philippines, which is they grill it for you. And in Korea also, they also grill it for you actually. But mostly, many prefer to cook themselves. We don't eat K barbecue every day. It's when it's only a special day, right? Or when we want to drink. So usually when you come with like company people and stuff, it's called peshik, the company dinner. And when you're like the youngest, you have to be the one to cook. And my tip when you grill meat is not to flip too much. So you retain the juice. The complete side dishes came out. I think this is kamote. You can also grill kamote, right? And of course, the garlic. For me, if I don't have garlic, I don't need K barbecue. I'm just kidding, but that's how much I really think garlic is important when you eat K barbecue. I'll show you my way. And then in their case, they served single use chopsticks, but usually in Korean restaurants, it's the steel chopsticks, right? The ones that's hard to use for many people. For me, that's the best. It's with the precision, because you know, with chopsticks, you can be really precise. You can like tear meat with this, pick up little stuff. Very sophisticated tool, but. But if it's flat, you can do it better. There's more force, there's more power. But you have to be very good at using chopsticks in order to use that, yeah. First tip, I always just go with the salt. And this is the cap of the rice. Oh, their rice is also Korean rice. Korean rice is a bit shorter and fatter. It's actually really hard to cook the garlic. So in some Korean restaurants, they serve it in a little steel plate where they put sesame oil and they just leave it here. But this is kind of like the OG way. Sometimes the garlic falls from this gap here and then you try the scene. If you don't like normal kimchi because if it's like sour flavor or something, try grilling it. It tastes like so different. My sam, you add some rice to some meat. This is my favorite, guys. If they have this, that's good. Spring onions and garlic. That's my favorite. This is my method. Mm. Another thing, it has to be one go. If you bite it, that's a foreigner move. So this is uh, cold noodles. And they always serve it with mustard and vinegar. So you just add depending on how much you want. They also give the red sauce. It's like a bibimbap sauce. I like to add some. This is the only food where I actually add vinegar. Like the Pinoy way. Okay. Sometimes you have to cut once because you might die. You might choke, you know? And this one usually Korean people eat after having all the barbecue. How you eat it is usually just with um, you top it off together like that. That's the OG way. So be careful. More pa, more pa. Mm. I never tried that. Keran chim. Very easy to make at home, guys. This one. Mm. 
Mm. Well, guys, I'm full already. Banana that's why I just at myself, so I can eat more. The malate image I know is coming out slowly as it gets dark. Guys, this is the, the this is my this is yeah. <laughs> you know why are they honking so much here? You know what I noticed also in the Philippines? They really honk. They really really honk. In Korea, they really only use honking when it's like really like oh my god, you're gonna die! Honk! Here, it's really like a way of communication, right? While driving. I was really shocked. But anyway, we just passed through my favorite tteokbokki place, Shinjon Tteokbokki. That's a very famous chain in Korea. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this place. Look at this place. There is a Swiss flag, Vietnamese flag, Korean flag, and Japanese flag here. What's going on? I need to get recommended. Guys, the time has come. The time for the night life to start has come, actually. I can feel it. You might be wondering, because it's a Korea town, are there a lot of Koreans here? Can I find my Korean oppa here? <laughs> I'm just Kidding. Again, this is more like a drinking place the image. So there are a lot of like KTVs, JTVs. Mostly, it's the older Korean men. More than the younger generation like me. Usually, I go to BGC, guys. BGC. <laughs> These people? Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Sorry, can I ask you a little question? Yeah. Oh, do you guys come here often? In Malate? Yeah. Yeah? For what for? Ah, to eat. Ah, to eat. Yeah. Ano, what kind of food? Korean. Korean food? Yeah. Ano po yung favorito restaurant po? Many. Many? many? Like, many sober, like the best. Like, this is the best. You don't have to go to Korea for this. Fantastic. Money, money. money. Like, your favorite talaga. Like, one la. Yeah, hindi ko hindi to lang eh. Dito sa many. Many tapos. Many tapokki. That's your favorito talaga. Uh -huh. Why is it your favorito? Uh, Kasi dami, ano? dami tapokki na wala si ba? Why is it good? Kasi uh, meron silang ano. Fruits. Fruits? Yes. For uh, free? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, they give fruits for free. Uh -oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Uh, unlimited dessert. dessert. For free? Yeah. When you order tteokbokki? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna ask first. Hello, Pa. So guys, right? I actually ordered from this place before because in the Philippines, there's so many Koreans in the Philippines that there's this person who made a delivery app just for Korean people to use to order Korean food. It's like food panda, but only for Korean food. And in the tteokbokki list, they have. So I got their tteokbokki, just the tteokbokki. But I didn't know that it's like a whole buffet place. It's not only barbecue, but also tteokbokki unlimited. Very much unlimited of all Korean stuff. This thing, guys, is called TikTok tteokbokki in Korean, where you cook your tteokbokki instantly. So this is a kind of different style of tteokbokki. Because when we say tteokbokki, there are many images. There's like in the streets, in the stall, and there's like the delivery food type, and there's this type. And then I just brought the best ingredients that you should put in a tteokbokki. The cabbage, fish cake, and leek, and of course the rice cake. These are my favorite stuff in tteokbokki. So you just dump it in. In Korea, guys, there's also a debate. Do you like a rice cake made out of flour better or a rice cake made out of rice? They're both chewy, but this is more like the bubblegum chewy type. And then the rice one is a bit like, it, you can still cut it. Really, both are commonly used, but this is cheaper. The flour one is cheaper. I personally prefer the flour one. These are the two best sellers. And I can really tell these are the two best sellers in the Philippines because they don't look spicy at all. I thought this one's gonna be red. And I also try the different kinds of beef. These ones, as I see, these are the buffet type meat. Obviously, it's not like the best quality each serving since it's unlimited. But the best thing about buffet is that look how many options. This is Filipinos' favorite part of when they imagine K barbecue, they imagine this one, right? And then. You know, even the grill, this is Korean also. Even this stove is Korean. Everything here is like actually really authentic Korean, even the plates and stuff. But the name is Pinoy Many Brother. <laughs> wow, but that's good. Because they keep what's important, like the, the grill, the actual grill and stuff, all Korean. But the flavors, even before tasting it, I can tell this is localized already. But when the ates a while ago were like, oh, they get fruits and they get dessert, dessert free. So I was like, free dessert and free fruit? Wait, was that buffet? But then the quality of the meat, for it being an unlimited place, it's, it's actually not bad. Wow. Look at that. Five nine nine for all these. What do you think, guys? <gasps> but the meat quality is really not bad. So let me try there. Tteokbokki. But this is very, very soupy, huh? It's like kungur tteokbokki, which is 
soup tteokbokki. So there are also different kinds of tteokbokki. The oil tteokbokki, which is soupless, which is like oil coated. And there's the normal tteokbokki, which is like saucy. And there's the soup tteokbokki, which is soupy. This is the soup tteokbokki type. Maybe I should have gotten a different sauce. Maybe I should have gotten this one and this one, and I mix them both, because that's the OG style. But anyway, this, this is a bestseller, so. <laughs> Super Pinoy's favorite flavor. Sweet, not spicy, creamy, savory. It's also localized compared to the, the common red tteokbokki's we would have in Korea. Because those ones are really spicy. Zero spice. Like... Look, they have this. This is very uncommon. This is a cheese top. It's a rice cake that has cheese inside. I mean, this is very common topping, but for you to have there as an unlimited option, it's not good. I think they just added too little chili. That's why it's like not completely red. I think they added cream here or something. It's very creamy. Tteokbokki and K barbecue. Very unusual combo though. The meat quality is not bad. If I was a fan of unlimited restaurants, I would actually come here. I'm sure the soup. Fin Korea also comes along with tteokbokki in a stall like Pades. It's exactly like Pades actually. Like you scoop your own thing. Mm. It's really like during cold winter, you put it in the paper cup and then... <laughs> that vibe. Wow. It tastes like the one in the streets in Korea. But it's easy to remake this though. They taste very, very similar. They added chili paste in here, this one. They're both not spicy. This looks like a really fun area. So soup up last night, and we both eat that. Wow! Hello! <laughs> Do you come here to eat? Uh, no. Koa. It's a chain. There are from Baguio. There are a lot of Koreans in Baguio, guys. Leah is also from Baguio. Sayang! But good job. I'm shy to ask. <laughs> Hello, Bo. Uh, it's your first time here. Do you have any favorite restaurant here? Just like this or something? I'm actually looking for one. Ah, you're looking for one? Okay, okay. Aww. Here. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Can I self recommend? Hello, Do you guys come to Malate often? Do you guys have any favorite restaurants here that you guys been to? This one is good. Really good? Yeah. 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 Have you been here more than twice? More than. More than twice. What's so good here? The food. The food? The best. One of the best. One of the best. So, guys, my favorite place, Jupachie. Guys, if you guys come, you guys visit there, okay? But I couldn't go, but I got recommended this place. Can I ask the question first if I could film inside? Uh, we can okay, yeah. Actually, this place is very famous. The other places are actually empty, but this place is really full. Maybe this is a hidden find in Malate. So we can't get the permission from the manager now. Okay, okay. thank you. This is the app I'm talking about. Delivery cake. So you know what, if I show you my phone, how many times I ordered from this place, like if there's a whole list, like I can't give it to you. Since you worked hard, <laughs> and this is a special Korean episode, we allow you to... Recommend myself? Yes. <sighs> yes. So this... what's your favorito, favorito dress? Guys, so I'm gonna recommend. We're cheating this time, but look at me right now. And we don't want what happened in last episode to happen in year 9, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna ask first, is it okay if I film myself eating here? So guys, this is my favorito and they used to only have one branch, which is my favorito in BGC, but they just opened up here in Malate. And the interior is better than the one in BGC. So nice. So, so our gamja tang is here. It's my soul food. This is Korean soul food. 
And you know, there are around like five teams in the restaurant right now, and they're all Korean, including me. So it's completely Korean table right now. That just shows how much of a favorite food this is for Koreans. This is called Dulke Garu. It's like sesame powder. Different kind of sesame. Pour some more. This is Soji vibes, guys. Look how tender it is. The meat. That's how tender the meat is. So you're actually supposed to eat it with clean hands because you have to hold the bone a bit. You have to a bit, you know. You just get one piece like that. This is the mustard kind of sauce. Dip it in here like that. Then, yeah, guys, this is the shape of the authentic Korean utensils. My favorite. They probably boil it for like really, really long. So it's like almost like breaking apart the bone. Really authentic Korean flavor. This is like, for me, my family's comfort food. Whenever we would have a family dinner out and we don't want it to be something too greasy or heavy, but we want it to be filling but still good, it's this. Because you know how much meat is in here and how much veggies. Very well balanced meal. So this is their pajon, and their pajon is also really good. I tried already. Look how I'm using the chopsticks to cut this. Cut this. I mean, you could actually tear this with your chopsticks, you know? Sauce. In other tables, every single table ordered alcohol. Except me. Koreans love drinking. You know those people online when they want to bash about Korea? They always bash about number one, too much stress for everyone. And then one thing they bash about is so gross, they share their spoon in a stew. In the Philippines, when I first encounter that serving spoon culture, it's good, but to save dishes. Ah, oh, yeah, but the light is, yeah, that's true, that's true. It's actually depends on people, but there are people who are LCD. Mmm, that white conscious. You guys also have the thing where in the candy, Hey, what's your blood type? You don't have that. When I was young in Korea, when you're gonna share like saliva or something, or like when you wanna ch let someone, what's your blood type? Is it B? If, if your blood type is the same as mine, you can. <laughs> if it's different, you can. That was the thing, for real, for real. That was the thing. Every Korean kid would know that. In a way, in the Philippines, it's more LC. They don't even drinking water at school. Sometimes they're shaped with lights. Ah, ah, that's a thing here. Like there's medicine in my water, so you got. <laughs> yeah, so many of my friends did that to me. <laughs> uh, maybe they were actually they don't want to share their water. <laughs> this one is the Korean version of mongo. You know mongo, you have it when it rains or something. So fast. Uh, so fast? <laughs> Hey, what did I learn? In Korea, when it's raining, we think of this. And then like when it's raining, you have to have the pajeon with bakkeolli, the rice wine. Bakkeolli is really good. You, you guys want to try bakkeolli? Really? One sip, you're going to try. You're going to try. You're going to try. Okay, okay. But then bakkeolli, it's case by case also. Depending on the brand. Thank you. Just like soju, this one has different kinds. But this is the OG one, so it's a bit strong. <laughs> go, 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 go,
French. They're making French. <laughs> <laughs>